Hello retro game fans! Today we're going to play a game that's very near and dear to me and that is the ColecoVision version of Donkey Kong! Now this was one of the first arcade games that was translated for home that really got people excited uh, for games on the home consoles to really look just like their arcade versions. Um, Donkey Kong was released for the ColecoVision in 1982. It was actually packed in with all the systems that uh, were released in North America. And it really is just a fantastic version of this iconic arcade game. So let's, uh, let's go check it out, plug it in, and play some ColecoVision Donkey Kong! All right, so let's take a look at the uh, the box for Donkey Kong. Now, what's interesting about this box here is that because this was packed in, uh, the cartridge came with all the systems, there was actually not a lot of these box copies of Donkey Kong uh, that were made. Um, it was basically made in case you needed a replacement cartridge for any reason, um, or if you bought a Coleco Atom, which did not come packed with Donkey Kong, uh, you could still buy the game. Now, this is an actual real uh, copy of the game uh, from Coleco. It's pretty rare and this one here as you can see is actually still sealed in the box so we're not going to open this one but I'm going to do a little bait and switch and thankfully um, our friends over at ColecoBoxArt.com uh, um, actually I think that's what let's see uh, ColecoBoxArt.com um, and Collector Vision have actually made these really nice reproduction boxes in fact when you put them side by side you can almost not tell the difference between the two they look awesome so let's actually crack open this one because it basically looks just like the uh, the one that is sealed, which I do not want to open. And let's take a look at what we've got inside. So of course, Donkey Kong cartridge. This is very familiar and the most common ColecoVision cartridge you will find um, as it did compact with, with pretty much every single uh, North America uh, ColecoVision out there. In fact, I can't think of a reason why there wouldn't be one packed in. Um, and of course you've got the instruction manual. So let's, let's take a look. So, um, the Coleco manuals all came in this uh, really kind of iconic blue, black, and, and white uh, color scheme. Um, and, and again, if you ever owned a ColecoVision, a lot of this will look very familiar because a lot of the games and the manuals were, were set up exactly the same way. Um, the screen you'll see looks very familiar. A lot of people always mention that Donkey Kong uh, or, or that the screen is flipped, which is it's not actually flipped. It's just missing one of the uh, the rows of the girders here, mainly because the game went from a vertical screen to a horizontal screen. Um, and here we go. More of the instructions. More of the instructions. Here's the third screen. This this version only has three of the four boards from the original game. But again, we're talking about taking you know a game from the arcade. Um, and putting it on a home system, and you have a lot of limitations. So anyway, the fun of discovery is also very important for Coleco games. That's the manual, and uh, all right, let's actually go plug this in the system and play. All right, so let's play a little bit of Donkey Kong in the ColecoVision. Uh, this unit that I'm using here is modded with what's called an F-18-8 chip, uh, which really sort of just makes the, the games look so much better. It decreases some of the sprite flicker and is the really the best mod you can get uh, for your ColecoVision. So Google search F-18-A. Uh, it's a great mod. Here we go. All right, so here we go. ColecoVision presents Donkey Kong. This blue skill select screen, very familiar to anybody who owns a ColecoVision, and let's just jump right in. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that the game really does look a lot like the arcade version. Um, probably the most uh, close to the, an arcade game of any of the systems that were out at the time. Of course, there were versions of Donkey Kong that came a little bit later that probably looked a little bit better, but man, in 1982, this was... you felt like you were playing the real arcade game. Um, you know, there were definitely limitations. Uh, some of the animations and, and intro screens were missing, like, for example, when I come up here and rescue Pauline, it just jumps to the next screen, but, you know, again, in 1982, being able to play this at home, man, that that was that was fantastic. Um, and again, you know, I, I'm playing on skill level one right here, just just so I could demo. Um, but you know, the the harder the skill levels you get in the game, um, you know, it, it does get a lot harder. Here I am, just all alone with my hammer. But so many elements that you recognize, and, and yeah, they they did make certain um, changes to B 
because the original arcade game was a vertical screen and this is a horizontal. Um, so you'll notice that the, the levels are a little bit squashed down. Uh, the first level is missing that one row of girders, which everybody always says, oh, it looks like it's backwards, which it's not. Um, the rivets level is, is missing a, uh, a, you know, the, uh, a row of the river, rivets. This is actually missing the, what, what do you call them, those, those little guys that usually bounce, oh, I died, um, usually bounce uh, along here. But, but again, it's just the fact that, the, that in 1982 you were playing something that actually resembled um, the arcade version was, was awesome. Because um, otherwise, the, the alternative at this point was the Atari 2600 version, which did not look amazing, or the Intellivision version, which, you know, looked, you know, even worse. And, and you know, both of those games, honestly, they, they played fine, but this one played and looked amazing. And it was like playing in a real arcade game. Yeah, I realize that the levels are, are kind of wonky and out of order, but, you know, again, th these are all sacrifices that were made, uh, mainly because it was, you know, a home version of the game in 1982. Now, uh, a couple tricks that I'll point out. Um, the latter trick is the most obvious one to people that play the game, and what that is is, if you just climb the ladder normally, he goes up very, very slow, goes down very, very slow. Um, the latter trick is basically stopping for a second and then going up the rest of the way coming down stopping for a second and then going down the rest of the way i don't know why this is like this um but anybody that's played the ColecoVision version of donkey kong pretty much knows to do the ladder trick where you just kind of pause for a second and then climb up much faster i don't think it was ever explained why this game was like that but hey um we all know to do it because we grew up with it and it's just one of those things you know Alright, I'm going to see if I can get this other trick to happen, which is this kind of weird warp thing. I don't know if I can do it on... There we go. So you see, you climb up that ladder, um, you do halfway, you take a step back, and then you jump forward, and Mario disappears, and then a few seconds later, he's going to reappear, hopefully not get killed. Oh my gosh! That was bad timing on my part. Um, some versions of the game have them reappear, some versions of the game you automatically warp to the next level. We're going to try this again, because it is kind of cool to see. It usually takes me a couple tries to do, but, oh come on. You just saw me do it, and now I'm failing at it. Why can I not do this now? One more try. Okay, I give up. I will try it one more time at the, s the end of this video. But, but basically, yeah, I mean, you're looking at just really when this was first released and people saw screenshots of it um, and the first time people started to actually play this in stores, it was the first time people were like, wow, this is, this is like playing an arcade game. And, and it really kind of set the stage for the ColecoVision um, because then came along other just really amazing ports. You know, we had Ladybug, Mousetrap, uh, Venture, Carnival... Um, you know, Pepper 2, and, and, and those were, you know, Time Pilot, uh, you know, just to name a few, like some of the really good arcade ports that the other systems, they, they just couldn't match at that time. Um, and, and then we had uh, other third-party companies like Parker Brothers, you know, came out with games like Frogger, Popeye, um, that, that games that also just looked fantastic. Um, let me finish this level off here. Yeah, I was, uh, I was 12 when this game came out, and I just remember I played, oh crap, I played the oh crap out of this game over and over again. And again, it was one of those things, like, you know, if you had a ColecoVision in 1982, 
and and you were one of the only you know kids on the block, let's say, that had one. Um, man, you were like the star of the video game show of, of that of that era because you know at that point, like people kind of didn't want to play you know the Intellivision or Atari um, if you had these awesome games. I mean, you know, again, just thinking back through the catalog. I mean, when Mr. Do came out, it was amazing, and Donkey Kong Jr. was fantastic. And I don't know why I just died there, but I did. Um, the system just, you know, at, at a time when arcade games were in their heyday in that early to mid-80s, and this system, especially between the, the years of 1982 to 1984, just kept pumping out game after game that was like a real ar ar arcade version. Um, and then unfortunately at that time, Atari was, was kind of pumping out crap. Um... You know, the 5200 came out, and, and that had some really good-looking games on it. Um, but, but you know, then then comes the whole video game crash, and, you know, you guys know the story. But, Donkey Kong. Um, oh, I died. No, I mean, you, you put this thing on, on level 4, and, and it's uh, it gets pretty damn challenging. Oh, come on, I can save her. Okay, I'm going to try this this trick one more time. Because I don't understand why I couldn't get it to work, but... Oh, come on. I'm usually really good at doing this. Not today. All right. There's Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision. Um, again, such an awesome game. Uh, really, when this came out, it it, uh, it it showed the world what true arcade games look like on a home system. Um, if you haven't played it, uh, either pick up a, a ColecoVision off eBay, go go play it on the emulator. You can pick up the Cool CV emulator um, in the Atari Age forums under ColecoVision. Google it. Highly recommend it. And once again, thank you very much for watching. Right, I'm going to try once again to try to get this trick to happen because I know I can do it. You have to climb up, step back, and then just go a little bit more forward. Oh, damn it. That's not going to help. There we go. Now we just have to hope it doesn't happen like what happened the first time. And the damn monkey throws a barrel right on my ass. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come up and now. Don't, don't, no. Okay. Perfect. And then you come up here and you finish the level. Hooray!